What if I told you that this piece of junk, $50, 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens Canon gives you is as good as a thousand dollar Sigma, maybe even better. I'm also going to use this 50 millimeter 1.8. It's the best budget lens ever made in history. Uh, and I'm gonna put a link down in the description below so you guys can find this on Amazon. And the third lens for this comparison test will be the 24 millimeter 2.8 by Canon. It's, uh, I think it's about 125 bucks. I'll also put the link down in the description below for that. Okay, so I'm gonna take three portraits of myself and then we're gonna go ahead and do a compare testing, but also Photoshop just released this new depth of field software so you can mimic like a 1.2 millimeter lens on anything. I don't know about you, but I'm pleasantly surprised at how well they came out. I knew the 50 mil was gonna be good. The 24 mil has never been a great portrait lens, but this kit lens actually slaps. If you do a bunch of Lightroom in Photoshop and don't make it look anything like it originally did. All right guys, leave a comment down below. Let me know which one you think is the best. And actually, I want you to guess. I'm not gonna tell you what the actual focal lengths are for each one. I want you to let me know. I want you to tell me in order what do you think they are. Kit lens, 24 millimeter and 50 millimeter. I think one or two of you will figure it out. And in the next video, I'll tell you guys what it is. How about that? <laughs> All right, cool, that's gonna do it for me. I uh, appreciate y'all watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.